Do you want a cuddle? I'll turn. I love you. I love you too. It's day 91 in little eight-year-old Bella Arcan's new life. Okay, let's get your shoes on. A life where she and her mom, Bev Lafond, have had to learn quite literally to take one step at a time. When you're walking with a crutch today. Oh, wow. Three months ago, they didn't know if this day would ever come. Can you show me where you had your surgery? Oh my. If the rare disease afflicting her brain could be stopped, if they could face what had to be done to beat it. Bella was just six when it first started happening. She started to tell me I had bad feelings, and she would come and hug me. Belly, what's wrong? There were tremors in her leg, subtle shaking that wouldn't stop, and those bad feelings that always led to seizures. Her whole body was shaking, and it was, you know, going. She was foaming at the mouth. She was not responsive at all. I um, scared to death. I was. They bought a new home, but as the Saskatoon single mom and her two girls got ready to move in, Bella became more and more erratic. And what she did was always said, I have a bad feeling, and then the seizures would come. So she was pretty good about having auras knowing when they were coming, could sit herself down. Before the surgery, that was happening quite often. That was happening about 30 to 40 times a day. Wow. When the diagnosis came, it was devastating. There's lips and there's, there's an eyeball. Surgeon Dr. Matt Wheatley explains. She has a specific type of disorder called Rasmussen's. To be honest, we don't exactly know what the cause of it is. Yeah. It's a very rare disorder, probably on the order of one in a million. Not only are the areas of the brain shrunken or atrophic, like you said, uh, but they also have scarring. So you can see white scarring yeah. Yeah. on this side that you don't see on, on this side. The first time that I heard Rasmussen's encephalitis, and I, you know, I remember checking on my phone, Google, um, which I shouldn't do. And I remember reading it and thinking, no, there's no, this, he must have, I must have heard wrong. He must have misspoke. This is not what she has. It got worse. The only way to try and stop the seizures, essentially disconnecting half of her brain. And without intervention, Generally, it progresses, seizures get worse over time, and the patients end up going on to being paralyzed on one side of their body. Awesome. The surgery wasn't without risks, but for Mom Bev, watching her little girl struggle anymore was just too much to bear. So many seizures and, you know, it was really hard to watch her go through that especially something that she loved. And so that's what I start to think is, what is she going to be missing out on? The surgery would take eight long hours. Essentially what the hemispherectomy does is it tries to disconnect this side of the brain and uh, leave it intact or large parts of it intact there. Blood supply still still going to it, but it's not connected elsewhere and therefore it's not manifesting seizures. Doctors were unsure what would happen next. Would she be able to talk? Would she be paralyzed anyway? Many from Bella's extended family had traveled from her home reserve, Muskeg Lake Cree Nation, shaving their heads in support, waiting for some sign they would get their old Bella back again. It came a few days later when her cousins would come in, she'd give them a playful kick. And then she started to do this to her Aunt Bonnie, who, you know, and that's where it was. That's where I... There's my spunky little yes. girl again. Yeah. You know, she's such a little jokester. Um, so that was where I thought, okay, this is... We're going to make it. Yeah. Oh, she's a jokester, all right. 
Look. You're going to hit me. Look. <laughs> the old Bella is back. Now, step. But with some new challenges. I can do it. She's learning to walk again. There we go. Walking Bella. And just watch her go. I'm going to fall over everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it. <laughs> Physiotherapist Jessica Hung says a few short weeks ago, this would have been impossible. So how is she doing? Fantastic. She's doing absolutely awesome. Better than expected? I would say so, yeah. She's progressed really well. She's come a really long way. Yeah. Now, can you move it? Look at that. And while her left hand will take some more work, her creative side, something mom was really worried about, is still very much there and ready to sing. My only sunshine, you make me happy. My skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. We just see so much still of Bella coming through. You know, even though they say there's a right and a left brain, it's working together. It and really a big is. heart. Yes, yes. There is really no stopping her, which is a little bit scary too, because it reminds me that I gotta keep up. <laughs> oh, I think mom's up to it. Oh, I, I hope so. Oh, I, I, I think you are, <laughs> I think you are. Dear, dear Bella, Bella, we miss you very much. For mom, who's taken unpaid leave from her job with the Saskatchewan government, it's been a tough three months, sleeping on an inflatable mattress beside Bella's bed, never knowing what would happen next. And we hope you feel better than ever. But there's been lots of support and surprise visits from home like today. Who's this? Ava, my sister. And through it all, that spirit. <laughs> A spirit that's actually left mom feeling, of all things, lucky. I'm very lucky. Bella's got such an incredible spirit. She's very happy. She's always excited. Um, I, I just think I'm so blessed to have her because her strength of spirit really is catchy. It sure is. It's got me. It's got me. It's got me. <laughs> mom Bev has stopped saying her Bella won't be able to do some things. Every day, she proves her wrong. Look at that. Okay, perfect. And tomorrow is another day full of challenges, but also full of hope. Okay, lights off, my girl. I love you, B. Moon and back. Moon and back. Red Sharon, CBC News at the Glen Rose Children's Rehabilitation Center in Edmonton.